All right, guys, I'm here early, um, <laughs> and the reason why is because Kane bribes me. But uh, uh, I'm going to release the strat today, and um, this strat is absolutely necessary. It's absolutely consistent. It's uh, it's going to get you over 252. The, the, the leader skills do not matter. The things that matter the most, okay, the, the things that matter the most. You want Moonbeam to have the most damage as you possibly can get her. And you need Moonbeam, by the way. Uh, if I didn't mention that, <laughs> you absolutely need Moonbeam. So here, here's what you... I have Melanir. It's not even a maxed out Melanir. Imagine if I had maxed this out, okay, you guys? Whales are going to have the best time with this. This is this is kind of a whale-friendly uh, strat. So here I have a QTE uh, Ryoma and QTE uh, Jinyan Aqua. And I think you kind of can guess why. I use the QTE in this strat. That's exactly what you do. And uh, yeah, I only use this for a stat stick. If I had uh, Zhen Yuan uh, top, that would definitely be the best. And so Shadow Dash, I actually remove this because you do not want to one-hit uh, the Honkai fly. And you'll, you'll see what I mean soon. And the only reason I'm using uh, Scarlet Fusion is because of the leader skill. So I'll show you what I do here. Uh, you don't need a leader... The leader skill doesn't fucking matter for the friend. Uh, I guess Scarlet Fusion friend would be the best. So here's what I do. So, as the, as the game starts, I switch immediately to Scarlet Fusion. I mean, not fucking, it's Shadow Dash. Shadow Dash, sorry, guys. Um, and then, you knock this guy up. Oh, God, okay. Well, whatever. You kind of. And then, you dash towards the portal, and you use the QTE. And that will kill every. If you did it right, and you have enough damage, that will kill every single one of these. Uh, uh, multi-dimensional mechas, it'll kill every single one. And if you have enough damage, it will also damage the boss here. It will also damage the boss. So that means if you have enough damage, it's going to do a significant amount of damage to the, the boss here. And I'm going to show you one of my better runs. What I found is that you can actually, um, you can basically one, one run this. Like and what I mean by one run is that there are two waves of the of the mechs, and you can you can just you can clear it on the first wave. Uh, when you do Night Moonbeam's QTE, which I I've already shown, I'll show again. Um, this can act this actually damages the boss. This actually, if you get a good enough QTE, it will damage the boss. And if you have enough QTE damage, it will damage the boss. So um, here's the thing: if you have enough damage, it will get the boss to orange. Uh, that's what happened to me. I got 271. But what I'm I'm hypothesizing here is that if your night if your new moonbeam has enough damage, it will one shot the entire boss, and you will instantly clear the stage. Um, I can't do that. I don't have uh, Jania on top. I think that might be helpful. Also, my Melanir is in five stars. But if it was, I think uh, we have a strat that can consistently um, clear the stage in about what five seconds. Uh, that's probably the fastest you could do it. Five seconds. Um, that would be even more than two seventy one. So. Um, yeah, definitely look out for uh, QTE, Stigmata, all that. You really need them to be upgraded for this. This is, like, the best strat. Uh, and that's the strat. So uh, good luck, everyone.